It's the last week to train for rowers competing in this weekend's Texas Rowing Championships. The two-day event brings together high school rowers from across the state, and two of those competitors didn't even think they'd be rowing a year ago. Chris Davis joins us with the story. <laughs> Well, good morning, Sally and John. We're on the kind of boat right now that rowing coaches use when they're out here coaching their students. But there's still a sense when rowers are out here on the water that they're kind of on their own. And for these two rowers, that sense is even stronger. Let's move the boats back a little bit more. It's not hard to find the most determined rowers. You got it. If you know where to look. I wasn't really excited about it. 15-year-old Addie Singh got over it. So much fun being on that being on the water and uh, getting getting to know your surroundings more, being able to move freely. Am I doing it right? Learning to do this at all takes dedication. And it's more suited to people who can see. And so adaptive sports really don't get the uh, praise they deserve. Blind since the age of two months, Addie's been rowing about a year now. Attention! And for the last few months, training. How many more meters? With 14 year old Trevor Veneman Holt. And it seems to be working really well for me. <laughs> They're two of a handful of visually impaired rowers with the group Texas Rowing for All. Tony Kuhn started this part of the program. Yeah, it's personal for me. I'm legally blind, and it's. Uh... I look at them and I'm amazed that they're doing that. Amazed because they're committed. I would row in a thunderstorm if it, if it came to that. Amazed because when they're out on the water, they're just competitors. As for the race this weekend, they're both looking forward to it. We've been uh, training together ever since and uh, analyzing each other's technique and I hope I win. Now you saw in that story uh, their coach on a boat like this. She was out there with them and she was kind of shouting directions to them, port and starboard, uh, which of course uh, are boat terms. And they're going to have uh, that coach out there with them to kind of help keep them in a straight line this weekend when they compete as well. We'll send it back to you.